Hey everybody, welcome back to JDM World. Well, the DIY bug has bit again. Uh, so I reached out to the guys at DIY Sound Group and picked up this Volt 10 surround sound kit. The kit is made up of the uh, the box, and I've got that off to the side, but the good stuff is a 10-inch woofer, a compression driver, and their custom-built crossover for the, the system. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and unbox this, take a look at the components, and we'll dry fit the enclosure so we can see what this will look like as we start to go through the build. Inside this box, we'll find all the components that we need to build a Volt 10 V2 surround sound speaker kit. The box, which weighs in at 47 pounds, contains two flat packs, two crossovers, two woofers, two compression drivers, and screws and quick release components. I purchased the angled enclosure, which allows you to mount these either high up pointing down, or you can mount them lower and tow them in uh, from the rear for some better off-axis performance. The Celestian drivers, which is a model number CDX1-1446, is a one inch compression driver that's rated at eight ohms with a 106 decibel sensitivity. So that sucker is really, really sensitive. The uh, woofer, which is really a coaxial. So this is uh, the hollow voice coil type driver where you screw the compression driver in and then that compression driver kind of uses the woofer as a waveguide but not a really good one. It's a 10 inch driver, eight ohms as well, with significantly lower sensitivity at 94.3 decibels. So the two of them together have been rated at about 95 decibels of sensitivity from the DIY Sound Group site. To assemble this kit, you're gonna need a few additional items. First, you'll need some glue. My favorite is Tight Bond 3. It gives you plenty of time to work your pieces before it starts to set. You'll need clamps. My recommendation is somewhere between four and six 24 inch clamps and likely some smaller ones as well. You can never have too many of those. Uh, also, you'll need binding posts and you'll need to think about where you need to mount those, whether it's gonna be on the bottom or on the sides. On the back could be difficult as that these will sit pretty much flush against the wall. So you'll have to think about how you want to wire these up in case you want to have completely hidden wires. Also, since this is sealed, polyfill is going to come in handy, right? And once all those things are done, then you're going to need to finish the enclosure. And I've seen people paint. They've used a lacquer with a very high gloss. I've seen people use Duratex. I've even seen people use a laminate or veneer to finish these as well. It really depends on what the rest of your environment looks like and what kind of aesthetic that you're going for. I've uh, seen others build these and uh, they've gotten really, really high marks. So I'm really excited to get started with this build. As always, thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks everybody.